Rano has the cheese, like just right with tongue and needles and all that. Claren is such a pain in the ass for Claren to get around with that and actually take a neutral win. And then whoever takes neutral win dominates the edge guard. These characters both edge guard the crap out of each other. Gotcha. Going into it on Jules Vale. A uh, Neo Jules Vale. Yeah, that one. Mm -hmm. I mean, Neo, a Neo Jules Vale is still a Jules Vale to me. I'm just saying that the way of the game is how to call it. No, I'm still calling Hideout Burning Fortress. That's the way. Wait, that's what you called it? No, but it did happen once. I heard it. I heard people call it that. A burn burning Fortress? I burning Fortress. Oh my god. Hey, that almost sounds fitting, actually. It's, it kind of is a Burning Fortress. I mean, that's just what it looks like. Jeez. Oh, nah. They're not gonna kill. What do you think of this matchup, Rano, Clarence? Edge guard each other really hard, as you can see. So it's really all about who gets those hits. The neutral's really tense as a result. Tongue is also such a pain in the ass because Claren, Claren Grand Game is great against everything except Tongue. Tongue is a good thing kind of keeping her honest and not just throwing out down tilts and forward tilts at Rano. For sure. A little tipper oh. forward strong there, but good drift out. Yeah, I'd like to see better better coverage on the tongue. Claren's forward tilt is awesome at just swiping the tongue away, sitting around the back off stage. It covers so much space. Oh yeah. So that Ooh. misty eyed back is a kill, so Cocker's gonna have to negotiate this from an even standpoint. He has that all the way in, which does result in the free up air and staying too high. Clarence Uppy is pretty fun at uh, dealing with Ranos who like to air camp like that. There's not really an answer for it from them. Because <laughs> the Uppy beats, beats Needles. Looks like KOB isn't too familiar with that shredding Clarence's character. Dacus will not kill them. Ooh, quick air dodge to get out of that one. Yeah, you'll, yeah, you'll be seeing Clockwork fishing for the, uh, up, up, like, the upbeat galaxy kill, because, uh, the tipper of it will galaxy, well, it won't necessarily yeah, it galaxy kill. It kills if you're super high, especially at 100 yeah. plus. It, it, it does work. Hard to hit the tipper, though. That should be a down strong, but it's not. Yeah, I don't think down strong would have killed anyway. It might have left people in the mall stage, though. I feel like with KOB's Indie Eye, Down Strong actually would have killed right off the top. Oh boy, some bubble stuff here? Yeah, jump right into it. So, no jump, no resources. Oh no! I, Clockwork so, maybe could have recovered. I'm really close. Mm -hmm. yeah, KYB just getting hit by up special. If you're getting hit by Claire not special, you're, you're doing the edge card wrong generally. You should just never be getting hit by that. Doesn't even add a bubble. I don't think, I think it was killed anyway. So, whatever. Side B is going to do out the stack. We're at one stock to one. Um, I, something I did forget to mention, Clockwork always loves doing the side B as punish move a lot. Oh yeah, that's just the, the Claren move. I don't think it's all that good in a lot of situations, because a lot of Clarence end up getting the Sour instead. So, is what it is, though. So. Oh, there's coming from, uh, coming from KYV. Yeah, a lot of pressure. Ooh, yeah, Clockwork just hit a little there and couldn't keep up uh, any real combo off of that. Yeah, oh. Rano stuff. Quick down tilt into an up strong. Oh, I'll get you if you're not DI'ing exactly right. Even then, Rano can read it at that percent with the tactics. <laughs> oh dear. I had, a, I had a joke referencing Clockwork, but I don't. I don't know if it's good. It's good. Game number two, uh, Spirit Tree. I think I, I like this as Clarence. Yeah, it's classic Clarence stage. Now, uh, Rano's great here, too. They both like that platform a lot. DI in all oh, of those geez. hands. Yeah, Rano gets a bunch of bears, but it's really hard for Rano to actually convert those bears into a kill. Since uh, Rano's front, Rano needs to be front-facing to get a kill with uh, with forward air, so back air's a little, a little counterintuitive. You just kind of chain it into itself and hope for the best. We're having trouble getting back down to the... Oh, no, the missed... Uh... I don't know if that was mistiming or whatever, but sounds strong to the center. So the clock could have a pretty high percent. Pong um, miss means it should be an exploitable recovery, but not covering the platform for some reason. It ends up dying for it. Yeah, clock we're getting kinda kinda punted around here. 
just having a hard time winning that neutral. Rondo's moves are so fast and has the needles and tongue option as well to really keep clearing at bay. Ends up trying to prevent uh, tongue into the bubble, oh. but gets, gets tongue in, in turn. I think Rondo could have bounced off that other bubble like after recovering, or would that not work? I think it would have been possible, but not any real reason to. Oh boy, yeah, I think I think just charging it down strong after the downer instead of waiting for a reason to play there. Because sometimes they fall into the sweet spot of the tipper of the down after you strong, and then they are dead. Another bubble set up here. Look at a little grim for clockwork. This is this is a good stage for both characters, so it's not too surprising that Ronda succeeded in here, but it's still pretty grim for uh Holy the kind of picks. It's the eye off that F strong. No double jump. Quick little fair for those kill. I like the little drift back there from Clockwork, not to, to avoid getting a... Goes for a down air, but yeah, could have maybe just done a side special and ended up dropping a kill off the parry because of that. Maybe again... Oh, oh boy, another time. Free recovery for Rano. A bit of a disaster situation for Clockwork. Yeah, like you're really saying, the, the, the side B that Clockwork's doing now, he's not getting much off of it. Finally takes the stock with the strongest move. Quick punk swing to get out of that one. I'd like to see Kaiwi just do more random stupid deck. This is neutral, because it does it keeps him honest. Right now he's not he's not doing it. So Clockwork is maybe taking up a bit more space than he should. He's not respecting the option because it's not showing up. Like, I think there was a lot of situations where Dax would kill, but instead of fair, Snipe takes it. Right Hold on. Ooh, oh, no. Clear in corner. Kind of a dinky move sometimes. The hits don't connect with each other. Oh, Blind to reasons why going for grab is better. Off stage. I'm oh, strong. DI's it all the oh, way that out. Works. Yeah, real bad that DI. Works. You gotta that DI works. that. Either no DI or DI down and then drift in. For both for tipper and non tipper down strong requiring both heads. I don't think I don't think KYB was expecting that down strong probably. Well you have a lot of time to react when you get tipper. Oh, oh gotcha. So suddenly what it was a dominating KYB game is the exact opposite. Clockwork running <laughs> running away with this one out of nowhere. That bit of that hit bit of Nair would have uh I don't know, Again going have, for forward would... airs that don't connect. Strong, not gonna get much off of it. Quiet Forward is great when it wouldn't, the second hit actually connects, but it's actually very unreliable. Oh, the double air dodge up. No shot. The tipper, a bit of upbeat. Yeah, air dodge into the tipper. That's an unfortunate one right there. If you want to be air dodging against Claren up special, you just, you can air dodge it in, and then you won't get tippered, because you're too close. Yeah, and with that clockwork uh, on the board here, 1-1. One, one. Looks like we're going to Tropple Pond. This is, uh, again, good for both characters. I'd actually give the advantage to Claren, though. Early kills off the top and down around these platforms is super annoying. Well, I agree. That's actually why I banned the stage against Clarence, usually. Because of how much they can cover. Claren's recovery is also great here, but KOIB isn't really edge guarding anyway on any stage, so it's kind of like, you know, whatever. It's, it's like a, it's a given. Players just kind of dancing around here a little bit. Yeah, not really just a situation coming up. No edge guards or anything until just now. The clock we're going super oh. aggro. I'm surprised that didn't tip up for the kill, honestly. Yeah, I'm surprised that soured. Going aggro off stage makes more sense here because it, uh, the waiting game is much less effective due to the platform layout. Ooh, missed missed tongue here, so it's gonna be a force run. Probably no, the down tilt, but if that goes into the bubble. So what? So a force run, but you know, this what it is. Oh no. SD. Well, well, I mean, that's still killed anyway. Brilliant edge guy. Yeah. Maybe a miscue from KYB in the end, ultimately. Oh boy, yeah, you gotta be careful. Because Claren uppies into that bubble, she ends up uh, having to having to sit through all that hit pause every single little hit. Yeah, really, that's the power of Claren's recovery here. Even though there was a snipe there, being able to drift all the way to the edge of that platform is huge. It's really tough for a lot of characters to cover that. Run note included. <laughs> My goodness, KYB. I will give Clockwork a little bit of credit though. He's doing a good job like getting out out of, out of these combo screens. Uh, I don't know who that downer was for. I don't think that it just wasn't the trajectory for Bruno's tongue sling, but still getting another thing going here. Maybe to secure a little bit more. Price the, I don't know. Maybe hit both. Uh, forward is kind of the worst move for that because it's only after four total frames actually. 
It's two then two then a big weight then two. Uh, Nair's the, definitely the preference for for air to air snipes, I'd say. Or or back here if you just want one big hitbox real quick. Oh boy, yeah. Tom um, I don't. I don't agree with that. Yeah, it's, it, I kind of like the concept of the aggro, but in practice, it's just the boosters aren't hitting. Well, also because the uh, PYB hit was in really good range of the tongue anyway. So. Nah, I kind of dash runs the wrong way. I'm taking a taking Rano's strongest move because of it. That should be a kill. See ya. Oh, back down near into up strong. Yep. Tipper near six. Uh, Clarence best confirmed tool. Honestly, she can get anything off of that really. Comes out so quick. Oh jeez. Eh, bad guy. Yeah, you did. Could have maybe. Could have maybe lived with the air dodge at the last second there, but did not see. We did not see it. Why are doing a lot of double up specials when uh, you can actually very easily wave land off the Clarence wall jump to make it back to stage and continue your pressure without having to go through a laggy up special? Yeah, they might really be playing super patient using the platforms to get that opening, but no real. The punish game's really been Kobe's weakness. Yeah, and that's oh gonna be the God. kill. This, yeah, that top platform is lethal. This, the, this stage's top blast zone is absurdly small when you factor in that platform up there. It's like Aramata. That's it. Hey, Rano's a midweight and everything. So we got a Gates pick here. Normally, I think this would be an excellent pick. But I think you need to be able to edge guard Claren to really make it work. Rano's gonna have a hard time killing without use of edge guards. We'll see if yeah. Kobe can can do a little wait and bait. Because what you gotta do with Claren up special, right, is you gotta wait for you gotta wait for the up special. You cannot get hit by it. And then if they have to use the second one to recover, you can parry it on reaction. If they don't have to use the second one, that means that they are above the ledge already, and you can sneak a move in in between the first and second one. Every time. Like, it's different character to character. Crack has a lot of moves, for instance, like forward air is a great one. And I imagine Rano can do stuff like, can always dash attack, but can also sneak in stuff like Nair Bear Fair. There's already a stock tech in this game, though. Clockwork got to a lightning fast start. It really just feels like the entire set turned around after, at some some nebulous point in that Spirit Tree game, Clockwork uh, logged on to this tournament. Yeah, let's see what, uh, let's see what, uh, AYB can do here. There is the Nair. And some bit of strings, but Clockwork doing a good job just, like, getting out of these. Uh, oh, uh, that was, that was the recover back, I think. There no, it is, perfect. Really. Yeah, so the second hit, you can parry it or you can wait right outside his range, because Rano has a really good burst strong, and that forward strong. Kind of, Edge Garden is kind of one of the only things I'm really exceptional for. Otherwise, it's just a funny move. Oh, nice little hits here. We've got the offside situation, but again, a really bad forward strong. That one was the exact opposite of the, the first stock. There was no patience there. It was just winging it. There's just letting it rip. Yeah, you waiting is the, is Clarence's problem. If they read your wait, that's still their problem. They still have to figure out how to get around you, because waiting is frame zero. You can do anything out of it on reaction. Reacting is Clarence's biggest weakness. The only thing she really has for it is the wait land. Ooh, it sneaks right out of the way of that one. Would have killed it if it And again, the forward strong. <laughs> it's, it's simply the funny move. Oh, sorry. I, 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 I know I shouldn't have laughed at that, but just, I loved how KYB just like just standing there charging it. Oh, oh yeah, oh, a little too aggro. That's, right. You know you're too aggro when, when you're getting hit by that move in general. Like, Claren doesn't even want to hit you with that. Claren just wants to get past you. The hit is completely secondary, and it, and it ended up killing. The tongue lift is going to result. Really good tipper fair one, starting the combo off, but couldn't get anything off it. Text was just a little too tricky. KYB gonna KYB uh, is out of the tournament after losing this stock, so gonna have to win this game to keep it going. On this last night situation, it's like Clockwork not allowing that to happen. It's the pressure back, great down strong in the center of the stage. Oh, well, very aggro there. there. Doesn't get much off of it. Refreshes and jumps. Back to neutral we go. Ooh, Moonwalk is intercepted oh. all the way off stage. Still has a chance to recover. And yes, yeah, too close. Too close. Gets hit by a special. Another forward strong's coming out! And 
this is how bad you are. Yeah, game five. My goodness. I guess that's all uh, KYB needed to stay in this because uh, I guess like the the, the momentum that uh, KYB had on that very last stock really, really worked out for KYB. I'm really curious to see what, what we're going to do for this uh, game five here. Pull it out. Yeah, pivotal game five. Three top. Makes sense to play on Gunner, but... You were you were saying earlier, it must be that you said uh, Claren's uh, option to go to the stage. You said, you yes, it's why. the classic comfort Claren counter pick. Uh, in some matchups, it is better than others, though. I like it for the Rana matchup because you'll die to back air a lot a lot later. It's got pretty wide horizontal blast zones, and the small stage means that you can set up a lot of nair bear fair. All your all Claren's aerials are better on the stage because there's less room to run away from them. The sword the sword feels even larger on a small stage. Let's see. And the variable platform height makes it a bit awkward for Runner to do like his lead frog stuff with, with flat drops and everything. Oh, oh. alright, yeah. Forward strong coming out. When that move tippers, it's great. <laughs> yeah. It's true. And I love the usage of Nair loop. Uh, oh, jeez. Quick response. Gets that tech with the up strong. Makes it sweet. Right. But KYB is flying pressure. Uh, again, runs face first into Claren up special. You gotta wait. Just wait. You know they're gonna up special, so you can wait for it. You don't have to run in. There's no one, nothing to run. Not, nowhere to run to. It doesn't make a difference to be parry at first, right? Because you, uh, you can parry, but it's, it's easier. It's easier to react. It's, you have more time to react if you're just out of range in the first place. Ah, I gotcha. Off, offline parry is pretty easy though. I mean, this is perfect ping right here. Yeah, it's a replay. I'm staying in MSB. Just making a joke, but like, you ruined it. <laughs> Alright, this is gonna be a little bit awkward, actually. This game is dead even, but a quick upper snipe will turn that one around. Oh, dude, almost went for you said that we almost got an upper. Yep. Yeah, I like uh, KYB's like, tongue usage to get back, in, back on stage because. That tongue will slide him pretty fast. Oh, maybe not that recovery. one. Lands on the platform with dive cable. Puckers somehow not able to punish. Big all stage situation here. No resources. Again, just has to wait, but that's not where you wait. That's in range of the up threshold. A quick chase down here, but tongue the gate's gonna be a back air. No, it's just up air, which has a much lower chance of killing. Oh no, a little late on that down B. Armor going high, and that one misses, but a bet missed the eye bear. Ah, uh, it's a tough DI, but it's out of the top one. Full DI in anyway. Going to last stock game five. Oh boy, wrong way though. Oh, now Rhino's the one who's poisoned. Gonna have to work that one off. Taking a lot of percent for it, actually. Okay, no resources. No resources. But forward air does save the day. Fuck, we're just moving all over the place. Super frantic uh, neutral right now. Oh! Okay, that album. We get the edge cancel, so we're keeping it going. Pressure's still on. Crazy drift into another edge cancel off the, side, off the back side. And again, race first into the up special. That should be the kill. Yep. There we go. That's the set. I, I really think Haley would have taken this one if he was uh, more cognizant of Claire's up special range. That's just all it came down to. <laughs>